Hey, it's Millennium Force and Quacky Duck. We are in a town in Nebraska where they filmed Tu Wong Fu. And it was filmed with Patrick Swayze, Wesley Snipes, and John Leguizamo. It was where they dressed up as three drag queens and went across the country and they broke it down in a town called Spiders or Snydersville. Well, this is a town that they were stuck in while their car was being fixed. And it's been 25 years since they filmed here. And right down the middle of the street is where they had the picnic tables all together and they were dancing on it because it was a strawberry festival. So check this out. 25 years later, the buildings are still standing here, very old, and it's so cool just to think that Patrick Swayze, Wesley Snipes, and John Leguizamo, and Stocker Channing from Greece, they were all here filming this movie, Tu Wong Fu. All right, here we go. That's one of the buildings right there. And if you look down the street, this is exactly how it looked when they were driving off. When they left the town, they got their car fixed. On the left is the hardware store, which we're walking up to. And on the right is a little restaurant that the black gentleman owned in the movie and they were outside on the porch having drinks and stuff and this is the hardware they all came out of with different clothing they were dancing and it's just wild to see this place knowing that those stars came out of this hardware We're going to take a peek inside through the glass and look at from the movie is where Wesley Snipe walked up that staircase and found some kind of dress and he was flipping out saying he was his. This is the actual store they wow. filmed in. I don't think we're going to have much luck. It is looking somewhat serious. <laughs> oh! Oh, my what? oh! Oh my Oh my God! Oh my God! what? Speak to me! Oh! Oh, hon, you should commit sections to memory. <laughs> Ooh, check yourself, Loretta. Or you wreck yourself. That is so cool. Wow. Noise. <laughs> oh, baby. You are a whole lot of woman. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know what you need. I hardly think you're the man to give it to me. <laughs> oh, no. Tell it, tell it. <laughs> Thank you. I think you should apologize to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I also think you should apologize to those ladies over there. I ain't apologizing <laughs> to no ladies. Oh, no way. No today. way. Uh -huh. <laughs> Just as I expected. Well, do you like my nails? Oh! <gasps> oh. Uh, 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 walk. Uh. What can I say? She's had a difficult life. Uh. What did you say your name was? Tommy. Your name? Tommy. 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 Well, Tommy, this is Miss Fida. And Miss Clara. And this is Miss Katina mm -hmm. and Miss Myrna. Miss Loretta. And of course, Miss Little Bobby Lee. Now, Tommy, 
When you encounter such gorgeous ladies, the correct way to greet them is to say, Good afternoon, ladies. Can you say that, Tommy? Good afternoon, ladies. Unless, of course, it's the evening, and then you say what? Oh, good evening, ladies. Now, go home, take a bath, comb your hair, and please, put on a clean shirt when you step outside your door. It's an affront to the very delicacy of my nature. Oh. Miss Clara? Mm -hmm. I just gotta know how to talk to people. Over here... is where they were outside. And they had a little um, place with tables and chairs. They made it a little cafe right here. <laughs> oh, Jimmy Joe, this is not just a restaurant anymore. You have turned it into a, a lovely cafe. <laughs> a cafe. Now what you do, slap a dollar surcharge on every bill out here. Pay for it. Thank you, my little Miss Vita. Huh? Yep. Huh. I've got a secret romance. Couldn't you just lose it? To say the least. i got a secret romance, too. Oh, shut up, for real? And this secret romance is very handsome, I hear. But where is the little house where you stay? Well, there's other buildings down the street. They just make it look like it was uh, up against each other. I mean, let me tell you, my poppy is built like a brick. Oh, I moved my screw. What's the matter with you? Bobby Lee, listen, the way to make things happen is imagine. Imagine. They're actually inside the building. Mm -hmm. These telephone poles were here. I'm taking a visual look at these telephone poles. Because that can really identify things too. You know, telephone poles and what could be on them. Okay, another movie set. In the movie where John Leguizamo was a uh, we're walking around picking flowers and all of a sudden these guys came out by these little water towers and it was I love Chi Chi instead of I love Coca-Cola. Here's the scene where he came running around these things. It was overgrowth now. Okay. There's the uh, little, I don't know what they are. Look like water towers but they're not. But he came walking around there. All that shrubbery wasn't there. And there is an abandoned railroad track. In the movie you can see the ties but it's overgrown by this grass. I was a fresh air fun kid, and they used to take us troubled children out into the country for picnics. That was so. Come on. That's how you pick up a lady. Okay, here's another set. It was the movie theater, the old theater that the old lady owned. And Wesley Snipe went running after her, trying to give her back a picture that she dropped. Mm. Robin Mitchell? You! Excuse me, you forgot something? Hello? Excuse me. You forgot some picture here. I was just picking it up for you to come. I didn't want it to get dragged. Oh, no, girlfriend. Did you just do it, Yui? I'm coming. I'm a coming. I'm a get you. So here is the old theater.
This has been a Millennial Force presentation, y'all. Come back and see me sometime, would ya? Make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up like button. And I don't mean the thumbs up like anywhere else. See ya. Bye.